Hi, my name's Callum. I'm the vicar here at St Michael and All Angels Parish Church. I'm here stood in the building that was closed back on the 17th of March when the Church of England announced that all public worship had been suspended. Since then, there have been no services in this building. Baptisms haven't happened, weddings have been postponed or cancelled, and sadly funerals have taken place, but not here um, and in other places. It's been odd to be living next to the parish church and for it to be silent for so long. But I'm really excited to announce that following a meeting of the PCC on Thursday evening, St Michael and All Angels Parish Church will resume public worship from Sunday the 2nd of August. It's been really exciting over the last couple of weeks to go into the village and see businesses reopening and life getting busier uh, in that community. To see restaurants and pubs and cafes beginning to reopen. To see hairdressers uh, opening and queues, I've been and had mine and to see all sorts of other businesses and shops uh, getting going again. And it's exciting that we are able to join them as we reopen following lockdown. Obviously, as you'll have seen in many businesses, there have been changes and there are of course changes here as well to ensure that we remain safe as we begin public worship again. As you'll see behind me, uh, the blue chairs are gone, hopefully only temporary and laid out our 36 chairs. Our capacity is now 36, uh, with the chairs socially distanced at two metres. And of those 36 people that we can now have in the building for one service, they can come from 24 different households. Uh, the complication with that is we've got some doubled seats and we've got some singles, so trying to make uh, availability for different families and their sizes. Over the next couple of weeks, as we continue to prepare, we're going to install more hand sanitizers so that people can clean their hands uh, as they come in and out the building and going to continue to put more social distance reminders up and on the floor uh, to just help us when we forget to stay two metres away from folk. We're also going to be installing digital screens at the front of church uh, to help us in our worship so that we're not hand, having to hand out bits of paper. Uh, and I'm sure um, that will be helpful for some and we're trying to make sure that that is accessible as possible. So how is it going to work from Sunday the 2nd of August? We're going to be relaunching with four services. On a Sunday, there will be a service at 8 o'clock, at 10 o'clock, and at 6.30 in the evening. And we will also resume our midweek service on a Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. The eight o'clock service will remain largely unchanged and that will be a said quiet service. Uh, and on the third Sunday of the month, that will include prayers from the Book of Common Prayer. The 10 o'clock service again will remain largely unchanged and will follow a, a similar format to the services that we have been streaming on a Sunday during lockdown. The 6.30 service will take a slightly more contemporary feel uh, and the Wednesday service at 10.30 will remain largely unchanged um, and be similar to the Sunday 10 o'clock service. You'll be aware that one of the restrictions that's still in place is that singing can't happen. Uh, but at the 10 o'clock service, the 6.30 service and the Wednesday service, we will play recorded music just to add something to our worship. There was a discussion at PCC about resuming uh, celebrating Holy Communion. And what we've decided initially is that Holy Communion will be celebrated once a week. And uh, throughout the month, that service of Holy Communion will rotate uh, around the different service times. There are, of course, restrictions in how we are able to deliver Holy Communion, and I'll explain some of those in an update to the parish uh, via email later this week. To make it possible uh, for people to attend worship and to ensure that we keep to our capacity, we will also set up a system where people can book in to come to a service so that people don't turn up and have to be turned away at the door and people will be able to book in for services via our website. And if they're not on the internet, we will also reserve some seats for those who uh, aren't on the internet and need to phone in. 
we will also, for those people who don't feel uh, like it's completely safe yet and are still a little bit wary about leaving their homes, we will continue to stream our services online, but they won't be recorded services. We're, we're going to uh, attempt to set up streaming from here in this our building um, and those streaming stream services will be live. There's still a few things to work out, still a few practicalities and details to sort, but I'm really excited that I will be able to join with many of you in worshipping our God who is unchanged, our God who is the same yesterday, today and forever, that we are going to worship him together, that we're going to explore more of his word together and that we will be able to again share in fellowship and worship. And so I look forward to that. I hope you do too. And I, look, I hope that you will be able to join me from Sunday the 2nd of August as we resume public worship. Take care, stay safe and see you soon.